Water is at the root of our agricultural economy and rural prosperity. Trying to manage a water budget without an understanding of ET is kind of like trying to manage or balance your checking account without an understanding of how much money is being spent day to day. That's where Open ET comes in. We have less water and we still have to manage to produce and accomplish our targets of yield and quality. Only this year we've had already three episodes of heat spikes with the reservoirs emptier than they were before because of the drought. So having ET data available is a very powerful tool to adjust irrigation. This is Maria Mar Alsina, research scientist for e j Gallo Winery, a family-owned winery that employs around 7,000 people. She's using a new web-based platform developed with NASA support called OpenET to help the winery improve how it manages water. In arid regions like the Western United States, water supplies are becoming increasingly limited due to the combination of drought, climate change, and a growing population. ET is a key measure of water consumed by crops and other vegetation that can be used by farmers and water managers to better track water use and water save. The ET in OpenET stands for evapotranspiration, which is the process by which water evaporates from the land surface and transpires from plants. Evapotranspiration is happening all around us all the time, but because water returns to the atmosphere as water vapor, it's invisible and we can't see it. These effects can be measured using thermal and optical sensors on board satellites like Landsat. OpenET combines satellite information with weather data to accurately estimate evapotranspiration at monthly and annual timescales. My name is Mark Mason. I've been working in agriculture for 25 years in Salinas. We farm broccoli, lettuce, cauliflower, celery, strawberries, and some minor crops. ET is important to us because we are trying to make data-driven decisions on irrigation and use these tools to help make educated decisions. Mark and Maria aren't alone in working to find a solution. They're part of a team of farmers, water managers, and scientists from across the Western United States that came together to create OpenET. OpenET is led by NASA, EDF, DRI, Google Earth Engine, and Habitat 7, working with more than 100 partners in agriculture and water management. OpenET fills a huge data gap for water management in the West and makes evapotranspiration data widely accessible via an online platform. Using NASA Earth and other publicly available data, OpenET provides satellite-based information on evapotranspiration in areas as small as a quarter of an acre to help decision makers like Maria and Mark improve and innovate their water management practices. We've seen water savings all the way to 20%. We believe that by having this good ET data, we will be able to adjust the water and be much more sustainable in water use for irrigation. To me, one of the most important aspects of OpenET is that it provides equal access to information for water resource managers, farmers, and policymakers. And that's just one example of what's possible with NASA Earth data. This is Earth Science in Action. Learn more about other NASA projects happening around the world at appliedsciences.nasa.gov.